Hey guys, Mike from Conquer Chemistry. In today's video, we'll be talking about what's the difference between average kinetic energy and molecular speed slash velocity. Well, first, average kinetic energy's equation is Ke, which is kinetic energy equals 3 half times the gas constant and temperature. So average kinetic energy just depends on temperature. Um, and it's directly related to temperature. That means as the temperature goes up, the average kinetic energy will go up as well. In fact, temperature is a measurement of average kinetic energy. So you can think of temperature and average kinetic energy as being the same thing. So that means gases at the same temperature will have the same average kinetic energy. On the other hand, molecular velocity or speed, its equation is uh, usually the root mean square velocity equals square root of 3r temp t divided by the molar mass. So this depends on both the temperature and the mass, T and uh, mm. It's directly related to the temperature and the inverse related to mass. So the, the hotter the ob object, the faster it will move, and then the lighter the object, the faster it will move. So let's take a look at the example to differentiate the difference between average kinetic energy and molecular velocity and speed. So we have a vessel that contains CH4, H2, and CO2 at 35 degrees Celsius. Which gas? First question, which gas has the highest average kinetic energy? Well, we know average kinetic energy, it's, it's pretty much just temperature. And since all three gases are at 35 degrees Celsius, uh, the three gases will have equal kinetic, average kinetic energy because they're at the same they're at the same temperature. So that's a key takeaway point. Gases or any anything that's at the same temperature will have the same average kinetic energy. Then the second question, which gas is moving the fastest? Well we know that speed is dependent on both temperature and mass. Since the temperature is the same here, we just have to take a look at the molar mass. We take a look at the molar mass, H4 is 16, H2 is about two and then CO this is supposed to be CO CO two. CO two is about forty four. So then the gas that's going to be moving the fastest is the gas that's the lightest. So it's going to be H2. H2 will be the fastest, and then CH4 will be the second fastest, and then CO2 will be the slowest because it's the heaviest. And that's that's the, the difference between average kinetic energy and molecular speed. Average kinetic energy just depends on temperature, and molecular speed depends on temperature and mass. Now hopefully that made some sense. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry if you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them then you should head over to my website and get this free guide uh, 12 secrets to acing chemistry you can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chem secrets i'm going to include a link in the description below check it out i think it's really going to help you and you're gonna you're gonna like it until next time keep working hard and continue the good work